Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, and it reads, When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father. And His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Next double honors to the head apostles slash elder bishops of Great Millstone. The one that taught me to want your percent truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere items. Keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. The gods of people here for a bit. When the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. I'm looking at the news right about now. Rent went up 23%. Can you dig that? Rent, the place where you live, <laughs> has went up 23%. Oh, so, of course, everybody got to be pretty much mourning right about now. Anytime your rent goes up 23% in, in, within a month's time period, But oh yeah, just let this devil just rule the whole earth for all eternity, right? Hell, leave it up to this devil. Everybody will be sleeping in the woods somewhere. But oh yeah, oops, I got, let me refrain. Let me let me take that all back. He controls all the woods. So where the hell is everybody going to sleep at? As this devil continue to rule the earth in wickedness. Everything that went up. You don't even, you should, you're afraid to go to the grocery store. You got people afraid to go to the damn grocery store right about now because meats and everything else expensive as hell. Why is all these things happening? Because the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Let's read this again. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people will rejoice. If you had if you had righteous rulers, everyone would be rejoicing right about now. Everyone would be getting a piece of the pie. But not when the wicked is ruling that the hoarders. They're hoarding all the gold, all the silver, every damn thing. And give everybody else crumbs and shit. And make it to where life is so damn expensive. Shit, you might as well just, um, just dig a damn grave and hop into it. And you Israelites want these people to rule the earth for all eternity? Hell, this ain't living. We're just surviving. This, 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 you call this living? Well, we call this just surviving, man. That's why we constantly pray to the Lord to hurry up and come on back, man. But everything in this perspective order, but we hasten the day. The Lord said he's going to set up a righteous kingdom. This one ain't going to be remembered anymore, man. Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked sleeze to eat, Esau eat them. So enough with their elites, the elites, the Rothschilds, the Gettys, the Bloombergs, the Oppenheimers. Household names right about now. The biggest weapon was secrecy, silence. But but now the Lord said, I fallen away, had to come first. And then that man of sin, sleeves to eat, Esau, Edom, would be revealed. They're being revealed right about now. For the devils that they are, man. You can't live in a corrupt system. You can't live, man. What, what's that other one? Now, I want to get another quick preset right quick. Let's see. Just, just bear with me. Ain't nothing rehearsed, man. Still in the book of Proverbs, Proverbs chapter 28. Verse 15, as a roaring lion and a raging bear, two vicious creatures, two vis vicious beasts that you don't want to come encounter with, right? A, a roaring lion and a raging bear, very ferocious, right? So is a wicked ruler over the poor people. So who, who's the poor? Who's the poorest nation on the face of the earth? The Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latins, and Native American Indians. It says, as a, as a roaring lion and a raging bear, so is the wicked over the poor people of the earth, man. You, you're not going to get ahead. Shit, the money, the little money that you do save throughout a, whatever paycheck you might get. Hell, you get ready to kick that out. Just know that. Just, just know that. Because we show no subject to payments. It seems like every time you make a dollar, you got to kick it out. And I'm, and I'm watching the news right about now. It said rent went up 23%. To, that, that's, a, that's as a roaring lion and a raging bear to me. And we're going to constantly move. Look, this is the MO. I mean, we, we read these scriptures all the time. Look, look. Why would you even think that this devil is going to change? Why, Israel? Why would you even think? Let's get this Jeremiah right quick. Why would you even think this devil go, he ain't going to change, man? You should be signing and crying to Yahweh Bashim Yahshua right now. 
Like, like right now, because look, this man destroyed the whole earth, man. Jeremiah 13, 23. Can the Ethiopian change his skin? No. Or the leopard his spots? No. Then may ye also do good that are accustomed to do evil. This man was programmed to be corrupt, to be evil, to be wicked, to be sleazy, sleazy, real sleazy, man. That's in their DNA. So if you think rent going down, you, 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 I was going to say you doo-doo out of luck. I'm going to just keep it PG. You doo-doo out of luck because I want the video to stay up low as well. If you think you're going to get clean water, think again. If you think you're going to get clean air, guess what? Think again. If you think you're going to... Let me talk to you Israelites. And they're doing these other heathen nations that way too. But the Lord don't care nothing about them. The Lord care about the Israelites. If you think your bills are going to go low, if you think gas is... Come on, man. Ain't nothing going to be affordable. Stop thinking it, man. This dude is a customer. He was programmed to commit wicked acts. He was programmed to be the evil, wicked, violent man of the earth. And he ain't gonna change. He ain't gonna change. He changed. He changed his whole system up to a digital system now. This man get ready to come down with wrath, knowing that he only got a short time to rule. That's why. That's why when Israel, you know what I'm saying, like Israelite man, you know what I'm saying, his woman, he find out his woman pregnant. The first thing he say is, "God damn it." Because we love our babies and all that, but we already know we're up under them curses. You bring your baby into a corrupt system, man. Into a fallen system. A system, you know what I'm saying, that you ain't going to never get ahead. A system that forces you to do things that they know is wicked as hell. The scriptures say, look, he, the power was given to him to practice those wicked deeds and tricks and plots and schemes. And when, when the morning is light, they go to, to their facilities the different facilities, read between the lines, and they practice their wicked acts, man. You see? Matter of fact, let's go to Revelation right now. A quick little lesson, man. You know, you sit here, you watch the news, or you watch the TV in general, you're like, man, look at these wicked. You gotta catch yourself sometimes. You know? At least on the video. Goddamn devils. Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. And there went out another horse. The horse represents power. That was red, which represents Esau, Edom, the Edomites. Sleazy E. And power was given to him. That set their wrong to take peace from the earth. So, so, so expect your rent to go up. So, so expect your grocery bill to go up more every month, every week. Grocery go, going up every damn day now. You're getting less portions, but, but more expensive. Inflation is kicking in. But everybody's independent, right? Inflation kicking in like on a well. Girls are crying on the, on the TV now. So it's a rent too expensive. Nah, you got it. You got it. Hell, you seeing all kind of people, you know what I'm saying? I work at this certain spot. I can't get a name or whatever. But I work at this spot. Hell, man, everybody bunking up with each other, man. Them there five, ten people in, in each um um if um you know spot pretty much. People bunking up for real, for real, man. Why? Cause rent is expensive as hell. And they want it like that, man. They want it like that. Got everybody packed in like damn sardines on these damn big ass apartment complexes where everybody just packed in. Like roaches and sardines. Everybody's hearing everybody else conversation. And the scriptures tell you not to build like that, man. When the Lord put man upon the earth, he was put on earth to have space, to have room. Not for the next man to hear every conversation he's having with his woman or every conversation he's having with his babies. Come on, man. Let's get this again, though. But once again, the earth is being ran by the wicked. As long as everything is out of, out of order and, you know what I'm saying, dysfunctional and everything is in chaos and, and, and it's all good and everybody panicking and ain't no normalcy, it's all good. They want it like this, man. You see? Revelation 6 and 4 again. And there went out another horse that was red. Representing Sleazy E. Esau Edom. And power was given him that sat there on to take peace from the earth. Do, do you not win? Do you do you get that scripture yet? You you wondering why your rent then went up 23%? 
And then you got some people talking, it's not, it's not a re real or big big deal. What? Are are you are you serious? You don't it don't matter how much money you make it. Shit, 23% is a major deal. Especially 23% within the last month. It ain't like 23% oh, gradually. No, this man's coming down with outrageous numbers. I'm hearing about people, you know what I'm saying, getting added another thousand dollars to their rent, 500, 400, 300. No if and buts, maybes about it. Give it to them or you out of there, man. This devil is not playing, man. And this is the Lord. It's all being orchestrated by Yahweh by Shemiah. This is what happened. This, this is the results of a fallen system. All right? This place is out of here, Israel. Turn back to Yahweh by Shemiah. It ain't going to get no better here, man. Let's read on, though. Let's read on. And to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And that was given unto him a great sword. But then he'll come out of his mouth and say, he's going to make everything better. He's working on better. He's working on affordable housing. No, the hell you ain't. They never always say that, man. You see? Oh, yeah. I'm going to make everything affordable. Just trust in me. Vote for me. Come on. Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Always talking. Got a good talk game on him. But we don't fall for that nonsense. And, and like the old saying goes, don't watch what they say. Watch what they do. Stop watching what he's saying and actually watch what he's doing. Because what he's saying and what he's doing is not adding up. All right? It's not adding up. Stop falling for it, Israel. You see? When the wicked bear of rule, the people are mourn. Just know that you, you want to, you want to, you want to, you still want to while you're mourning, right? Because the wicked is ruling, man. All right? You got two turds of our people still trying to fight for sleazy eat. When they got everything, you ain't got nothing. Your pocket's dead broke. You ain't even got lint in your pocket. Jake's so broke, they ain't even got lint in their pocket. But they still fighting for the nation. They got every damn thing. A nation that rules the whole earth. You're fighting for them? You ain't even fighting for your own people. They ain't got nothing. Dirt poor. Dirt poor. But you fighting, you, you fighting for the rich. Tell them, tell them all people can make it. What the hell? They in heaven already. They in their heaven. Come on, man. Once again, Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth was smoother than butter. But war, but war, war now, not love, but war was in his heart, in his mind. It's the only thing they're thinking about. It's the structure, man. Seeing people um go through it. Seeing people catching hell. They get off on that, man. They get off on watching the whole earth catch hell. Many of you Israelites, man. This is words were softer than oil. Yet were they drawing swords, man. Because this is the violent man, the evil man. And I don't want to get that right quick. Let's go to Psalms 140. I just want to get that right quick. We can't wait till the Lord come back to take this devil out of power, man. The same entity that gave you the power is going to be the same entity to take you out of power. His, his rule is, is, um, is but for a short time, too. They care more about a dog than they do Israel, man. The Israelites, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, they care more about a dog than you. All right? They won't shoot a dog down, but they'll damn sure shoot you down. They'll choke you out. They'll raise that damn rent. They'll kick your ass out, man. You, you're going to see. You're going to see Psalms 140 and 1. Deliver me, O Lord. Yahweh by Shemiah was shot from the evil man, meaning Sleazy E. Esau Edom. Deliver us, O Lord. Deliver us from this evil man. Preserve me from the violent man. Violent. Only thing that's in their mind is destruction, chaos, and how to keep us down to the ground. And they build certain communities where, where they make sure we can't afford rent. They make sure none of us that look like whoever looks like us ain't nowhere near them. You see? Hell, and if you if you're just driving over there just to see what things look like, you're gonna get pulled over. And they're gonna say, you, you, you got something, you're coming to deliver something here, bud? What are you doing over here, bud? 
But oh yeah, we're, we're speaking nonsense though, right? There ain't none of what we talking about. It's happening, right? It's all lovey-dovey, right? You can just go and stay in any neighborhood because it's all affordable. They made life affordable for you, right? Come on, man. Come on, man. Which imagine mischief in his heart and his mind continually are they gathered together for war. But then they say, oh yeah, we're here to show you love. The thief come to steal, kill, and destroy. That's their MO. But, but we at the end of it though. That, that's, the, that's the most wonderful thing about it. We at the end of it. But remember, this devil was given the power to take peace from the earth. Only thing he do is rob the oppressed. That's the only thing he do is rob you of everything you got. You think it's all, shit, you paying like $1,200, $1,400 for rent already. That's saying you no. Know, at the end of the month, this devil saying, look, we're going up another $300. What? I mean, they don't come fix nothing. They don't come change nothing. They don't come add no addition to the apartments or to the houses or whatever. Shit, property, um, taxes, then went the hell up. Everybody's shit got going out the move. Leave it up to this devil. I mean, what kind of job, and, and the phone chimed in, it's like, really, what kind of job are you going to have to have in a couple of months to be able to afford rent? We need the Lord, man. Let's see what else I got. Let's get, let's get some rock right quick, man. I'm just flunk, slacking for the rent, man, but a little something's on my mind, all right? Something's on my mind. We can't, we can't wait till this devil go down, man. Sleazy E, man, the wicked. Remember, Job 9, 24, the earth was given. We're going to get that next, too. Let's get this, though. Sirach. Sirach 25. Our people are happy with the wicked rule. Still voting for him. This is outrageous, though, man. Vote for me, you know what I'm saying? Let me be your congressman, and I'm going to make sure that the area that you stay in, I'm going to rid it of crime. I'm going to make it more affordable. All lies. All lies, man. And you only see them every three or four years when they want your vote. Other than that, you don't see their asses. You might see them on TV lying like hell, saying what they're going to do. Once again, don't watch what they say. Watch what they do, because they ain't going to never do what they say. Never, man. Especially when it comes to doing something good. Because they ain't in them to do nothing good. And if they do do something good, they do it unwillingly, going right back to, um, what is it, Sirach, the 12th chapter, or either the 14th chapter. Sirach chapter 25, let's just get this, man. Sirach chapter 25, verse 7. There be nine things which I have judged in my heart, my mind, to be happy. You, you, want, you want to know what makes an Israelite man happy? You, do you really want to know? Do you really want to know what really makes an Israelite man happy? Well, we get ready to read it then. If, if your answer is yes, then get ready to hear it then. And the tenth, I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children. That's one of the things that makes a man happy. You see his sons and daughters grow old. And have babies, sons and daughters, and watch them grow old. And things of that nature, right? We, we haven't seen that in a long time. And he that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. And what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? Well, well, look, look, we're going to rejoice soon. Come, let's get Isaiah the 14th chapter. We're going to rejoice soon. Come, Israel. It's only a matter of time. The Lord's going to take this criminal down, man. And we're going to rejoice, man. All right? The end is nearer than what we believe. The only thing that comforts us through this hell that we're going through is the scriptures, man. You see, matter of fact, let's just get that right quick. Let's get Romans. Romans chapter 15, verse 4, and it reads, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now this devil know everything going up, but has he has he kicked you a raise yet? No. Everything going up, but ain't no damn um your wages ain't went up. Rent went up, lights went up, water went up, internet went up, food went up, hell, every rent then, hey, I'm gonna say rent again. Everything went up, but your damn wages stayed the same. But he's walking around with a smile on his face, wondering why why you got a frown on your face, wondering why you upset and angry. Oppression, make it for a wise man. Man, we're being oppressed. Romans 15 and 4, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, the hopeful elect, through patience and comfort of the spirits, might have hope. Oppression. Matter of fact, let's just get that. Oppression. Make up a wise man. Man, why are y'all so angry? Why are y'all so upset? I gave you, I gave you uh, $5 an hour. 
I gave you seven dollars an hour. I know you got four babies, two sons and two daughters. But hell, I gave you seven dollars an hour. You should be happy. What? Y'all ain't seen nothing yet, man. Like the scripture said, as a roaring lion and as a raging bear, that's how the that's how the wicked is over the pe poor people of the earth. Ecclesiastes seven and seven surely oppression make up a wise man mad. So we're constantly being oppressed, and then you say, why, why don't they? Why are they not smiling? Gee, golly whiz! Because we're being oppressed by the oppressor. But the Lord says, soon come, you're going to rule over your oppressors. And I'm getting ready to read it. Soon come, we're going to rule over our oppressors, man. So I know what you wicked elites, man. All right? Y'all going ahead for us in captivity, man. All right? And that's according to the Bible. And a gift destroys the heart. So our people out there taking them bribes. Our people out there taking them bribes, man. And they feel like they're not being oppressed anymore. We're still being oppressed, man. Isaiah 14. And I'm going to just go straight to the point. Verse 2. And the people shall take them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. We're going to possess you heathen soon. Come, man. Shall possess them, own them in the land of the Lord for service and handmaids, slave men, slave women. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were, slavery. You're going into slavery. And they shall rule over their oppressors. Remember, oppression make up a wise man mad and a gift destroy the heart. But a gift destroy the heart. We're going to rule over our oppressors. Soon come. Soon come, man. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow and from thy fear and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. You, th you think we're going to be paying rent, outrageous rent when we get into our kingdom? The kingdom of Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Lord wanted with joint heirs on the first go around, that first wave, the first fruits. Y'all ain't seen nothing yet, man. The Lord said he's going to give us rest from our sorrow and from our fear. We don't have to fear no more. Wondering how the hell you're going to pay rent. Your rent was one price, one month. And that's saying you no, know, then they added four, five hundred dollars to it. Like, it like, like that was a good thing. They, they know you ain't getting no damn raise. They know ain't nothing changed, but everything going up. You, soon come, man. Just, just soon come. You see? Seeing the fall of the enemy, that's what's going to make us rejoice. That's what's going to make us happy, man. Working day and night, nine to five, shit, different schedules, two, three jobs. And don't nothing change, but it's all good, though. Change coming, though. Ch change that these Edomites ain't gonna like. That that's what's coming. Woe to them to call evil good. And good evil. Woe to them to call evil good. And good evil, man. You gonna you gonna cry soon come. But look, your prayers are not gonna be heard, right? Now, look, that's what the scriptures say. What they say, they, they, they clay, stop their ears at the cry of the poor. Soon come, they're going to cry themselves and no one's going to hear them. That, that's what the scriptures say, man. They're going to cry soon come. I got it right here. Proverbs 21 and 13. The water you have about Shemel Shite. Whoso stopping his ear, ears at the cry of the poor. And they know the poor, which are the Israelites are crying right about now, man. Why is my rent going up? You know I can't afford it. Why is the water going up? Why is this tainted ass water going up? You know I can't afford it, man. Everything going up. Hell, you better can afford a damn shirt. You got to make life-making decisions when you go to the damn grocery store. Should I get this right here? Should I get these couple of packs of meat and this bread, these tortillas, and these grapes? Hell, because if I do that, I'm going to be short on my damn rent. Or I'm going to be short on my light bill. I just went to the grocery store, um, what was it? Yesterday, Sunday. You go to the grocery store nowadays, man, shit, you better at least take $200 with you, and your car ain't gonna really have nothing in it. Hyperinflation, yo, these are all tall, tall tale signs, though, of this place going down. So I'm rejoicing at the same time. We're catching hell, but at the same time, we're rejoicing, man. We're rejoicing, because we know we one day closer. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna end it with these two last scriptures. I'm going to end it with these two last scriptures. It's almost over. It's almost over. Job 
chapter 20, verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked, the wicked ruling over the whole earth is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, number actors. But for a moment, and remember Israel, they don't believe in they don't believe in who they're going to call God. Just remember that Israel. So that means they're not going to think about showing you mercy. They will never show you mercy, Israel. All right? The tender mercies of the wicked are cruel. They show you mercy by, by raising your damn rent up $400. All right? They show you mercy by adding another $50 to your damn water bill. All right? Or that plane ticket. Or that train ticket. Or that damn gas. Just water down. But what the scripture say? Job 20 and 5. That the triumphant of the wicked is short. And the joy of the hypocrite. But for a moment. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens. And his head reach unto the clouds. They're very prideful man. They're very prideful man. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever. They're going to perish forever soon, come, man. Like his own dung, like some shit, like some doo doo. They which have seen him shall say, Where, where is he? Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, as a nightmare, as a nightmare, and he shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. It's, look, we're going to rejoice so come when they ain't around no more, man. Israel going to be like, where the hell they at? Our grandbaby's going to be like, Papa, you know what I'm saying? Where's that devil that you was talking about that was ruling over y'all with vigor, that was whipping y'all with them whips and chains? You see? Had y'all picking cotton and sugar cane and all that. Where they at, Papa? Where is he? Well, baby, they got burned up to a crisp. Pursuing to Obadiah. We look, we threw them all into a pit and made all the nations come watch and see what happens. When you're created to be the wicked, the end results of the wicked, all these nations are going to get invited to. To that big giant bonfire, man. Remember, of the main thing that makes a man happy is to see the fall of his enemy. And there's another scripture that escapes my head. But look, the whole earth is going to rejoice soon come once these devils go down, man. I just want to throw something out there, man. I was just looking at the news, watching just everything, just fucking just outrageous, man. And ain't nobody got nothing to say about it. The damn pastors ain't telling our people that this man is a wicked and the reason why all these things are happening. They just want, in the hell, these pastors, I'm saying... They want all your, you broke as hell already, but the pastor still wants your money. And you need your light bill paid or anything paid. Then you hear this pastor, uh, call me back, call me back. Come on, man. The triumph of the wicked is short, man. Shalom.